Welcome, this is a short video discussing how to do a bladder volume calculation. And to do this, we'll need the calculation package on your Zenary system. First of all, you're going to obtain a Sadro view of the bladder here. We're going to freeze the image. And once we have a nice frozen Sadro image, we're going to start our calculation. And this involves a measurement tool. So you will hit the measurement tool, but instead of hitting it once, you're going to hit it twice. And when you press it a second time, the submenu pops up. You are then going to select volume. And now you see that caliper is measured one. So we're going to measure, and to do measurements, you're going to press the set key, which then changes the caliper from green to blue and anchors it so that you can then drag that caliper over to get measurement one, which is in our anterior to posterior plane. Once you have that measurement with caliper set number one, you're going to press the enter key. What this does is it saves measurement one and gives you caliper set number two. So you see, once you press the enter key, caliper set one is in blue, caliper set two is now green. We're going to press set and drag that across to give us our cranial to caudal measurement of the bladder. And you can see we have distance one and distance two at the bottom. However, when we press enter, we are saving that measurement for the calculation. We are not saving the image. And you have to use the store key to save the actual image. So now we're going to unfreeze our image. And once we unfreeze our image, you can see that we can rotate to a transverse plane. Now, once we have a nice transverse plane of the bladder, we're going to press freeze again. And once we've frozen the image, caliper set number three automatically pops up because we've saved caliper one and two by using the enter key. We're now going to measure the lateral edges of the bladder to lateral edges of the bladder. Once again, using the same function of the set key and the trackball. And once we have that third measurement, you can see the total volume is at the bottom. And in this case, it is 304.91 mLs or cc's of fluid. Now, once we have that third measurement, you do want to press enter again to lock that third measurement into the calculation package if you use automated reporting. But more importantly, you do want to store the image because once again, when we press enter, we are saving the measurement into the calculation, but not actually storing an image. So you need to use the store key to save the actual image. And if you are not using automated reporting, that calculation could be lost. The thing to remember about bladder volume calculation is you need three planes of measurement. You need an anterior to posterior, lateral to lateral, and a cranial to caudal. Now, two measurements can be done in one plane and a third in the other plane, and it doesn't matter which plane you're doing the two measurements in. What you want to make sure is you're not doing the same measurement in two different planes, giving you a false reading. So in this example, we're measuring cranial to caudal, lateral to lateral on the left image, and we're doing an anterior to posterior on the right. We could easily do a lateral to lateral on the left image and an anterior to posterior and cranial to caudal on the right image. Just make sure you are measuring all three measurements separately and not duplicating one measurement in two different planes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and continue to follow for additional educational videos.